Whether you're a guy or a girl, you can get free, confidential sexual health advice or treatment from the local NHS. There are contraception and sexual health clinics known as cash clinics around the Wakefield district. I'm off to the one on Margaret Street. You can get contraception as well as testing and treatment for sexually transmitted infections, STIs. I'm doing this film so you can see what to expect when you visit a local clinic. It'll show you what the place looks like, some of the staff that work there, and what to expect when you see the doctor or nurse. Hopefully it will make going there yourself a little less scary. At reception, when you arrive, let the receptionist know who you are. None of the staff wear uniforms, so it has a more informal feel. If this is your first visit, you will be asked to fill in a green registration card with info such as your name, address, date of birth, etc. This info is kept in strictest confidence. You can complete the card in the waiting room, or if you need help, the receptionist will go through it with you. You don't have to tell the receptionist why you are there if you don't want to. They may ask if it's an emergency and you can say yes or I'd rather not say. Waiting. Once you've filled in the card, hand it back to the receptionist. You'll be asked to take a seat in the waiting room until it's your turn to be seen. If you're going along to a youth drop-in session, you will be seen in the order you arrive. These sessions can get pretty busy, so if you prefer, you can make an appointment instead. Seeing the doctor or nurse, you'll be called in by your first name. If it's a busy time, you might be asked to confirm your surname, just to make sure they have the right person. If you want to bring a friend in for some support, that's okay too. You could be seen by a doctor or a nurse, depending on who is taking the clinic that day. They are all really friendly, open and honest. They'll introduce themselves and ask how they can help. Hi, I'm Jane, one of the nurses, so what can I do for you today? Contraception advice. If you are visiting the clinic because you want some advice on which form of contraception to use, the doctor or nurse will ask some questions about your health and your family's health. This is because they need to know if you have any illnesses or if there are any illnesses in your family that might rule out you being able to use certain types of contraception. So are you using any contraception at all? Are you, using... you may also be asked some questions to decide if you are at risk of sexually transmitted infections, especially if you have had sex without using a condom. Everyone is offered the chance to be tested for chlamydia, which is the most common sexually transmitted infection in under 25s. It's up to you if you take up the offer and it just means providing a sample of your wee. Once the doctor or nurse has the necessary information, they can advise you on the best type of contraception to suit you and your lifestyle. Right, so you're interested in um, using a long-acting method of contraception, or if we sometimes call them LARCs, like the implant injection or the coil. So I just need to ask you a few more questions just to make sure that that method is right for you. You might choose one of the forms of long-acting and reversible contraception available, also known as LARC. These don't rely on you remembering to use them like the pill, but instead work while you get on with your life. They include the coil, contraceptive injection and implant. If you opt for one of these, you will probably need to come back to get them fitted, as they can only be fitted at a certain time during your cycle period. If you choose a coil, you'll also need to be tested for STIs first. Like most forms of contraception, there are side effects, but again, the doctor or nurse will talk through all of these so that you can make the right decision for you. If you opt for the pill, you'll get a three month supply there and then. The doctor or nurse will go through how to use them, when to take them, including some top tips, and you'll get information leaflets to take home and read. Condoms can also be provided to help protect you against STIs. If you are visiting the clinic because you need emergency hormonal contraception, EHC, the visit needs to be as soon as possible after having unprotected sex, as this improves the effectiveness of the treatment. Please don't delay, telephoning or attending the clinic for advice on emergency contraception if you are unsure if you need it. It's best to speak to the clinic and the doctor or nurse can advise you. No one will think you are wasting their time, as we all want to avoid unwanted pregnancies. If appropriate, you will be given the EHC pill to take there and then. If you don't have a normal period after taking EHC, you should go back to the clinic to have a pregnancy test. Sometimes a coil can be used as a method of emergency contraception too. The nurse or doctor will discuss this with you. Right Gemma, I think that's everything. Um, you've got your appointment, I've got all the information that I need. So we, um, we'll see you in two weeks 
And in the meantime, I'll give you some condoms and remember that if your condom bursts, then you can have emergency contraception. Just give us a ring to sort that out. Okay? And so, now you know a little bit more about what to expect from a cash clinic. I hope my films help to put you at ease, but if you have any questions that you want answered before you go along, give them a call. They are all really nice and there to help.